Thanks for joining us here on the NBC Connecticut YouTube page. We're talking face the facts and transportation and quasi publics with Senator Len Fasano. We appreciate your time this morning. Thanks for coming Thank in. Thank you very much. Uh, let's talk about the quasi publics. There was a report that came out regarding the uh, Port Authority. Uh, the quasi-public agency which is in charge of upgrading a hundred million dollar project, the Pier in New London, the State Pier, which can make way, if it all comes true, a big wind farm. Um, but this report came out and it was not favorable to how they handle their money and transparency. What did the report tell you? The report told me that this is an agency that has no controls, no limitations, and goes from the seat of their pants. And that has led to questions on contracts, questions on credit card receipts and the way they're using taxpayers' money, and also lack of confidence. I mean, if you're going to build an economic machine, if you would, at that Port Authority, mm -hmm. people have to have confidence that the tax dollars are going the right way and the contracts they're making and they're bidding on are being fair. I'm not sure that confidence exists. And do you think that there's going to be more investigation into this after the support has come through? What's the governor's opinion been on it? He acted quickly when it came to the one uh, member of that um, agency that bought art from her daughter. Right. with taxpayer money. So do you feel as if he's on board with you in, in well, that respect? I think he's on board with changing prospectively the way we work our quasis in the state of Connecticut mm -hmm. and restricting them, and I'm with him on that. But what happened to the Port Authority, we need. We had one investigation and then we had another new auditor's report that just came out that showed that there's more things going on there that needs to be looked at. Right. Look, when a Port Authority spends $667,000 on attorney's fees, you need to say, what was that about? Right. I'm a lawyer. Right. That's a lot of money when there's no litigation in particular. So I think we need to look deeper into how this money's being spent. That calls for the legislature to call a hearing. So let's talk transportation. This week, the governor signaled that he's close to releasing his plan. He's had meetings with Republican leadership on it. What are your thoughts, and where do we go from here? He's met with the Senate Republicans. I'm not sure he's met with the House yet. Uh, I think that I've taken in the numbers. I want to look deeper into the numbers, which I'll do next week now that I've gotten them. Uh, I want to see whether or not we can do this without tolls, because I'm not a toll advocate. In his plan, tolls are a part of it, right? In his plans, he has 14 tolls just on bridges. Uh, they're scattered throughout the state, uh, mostly between New Haven and New York and the I-84 East West right. is where they are. So I think they're, they're, uh, those tolls are something in his plan. I have to figure out if there's a way we could do it without tolls because I just don't think tolls are, is, a, is a good idea and I can't see me supporting such a plan. But we will take a look at the numbers. We'll dive deep and see what we come up with. The likelihood of a special session, do you think, is what? You know, it's a very tough call. I think even if everyone agreed to his plan and we don't, I'm not sure he could get that plan written, drafted, and approved before January 1st. So I think it may not happen no matter what happens. So I don't see that happening. We're going to go in for some bills, but I don't think it's going to be that one. Senator Fasano, we appreciate your time. Thanks Thank for joining us on Face the Facts. That's it for this YouTube video. we got a whole bunch more. Click on those. This is Face the Facts with NBC Connecticut.